Yes, sir. We can. So, I welcome once again all of you for the Certified Ethical Hacking Version 11 Introduction Session. I am Dr. Mohamed Ibrahim, Senior Cyber Security Consultant. And I also have Mr. Sandra Segar, who is a Certified Ethical Hacker and EC Counsel in Sector and has got many certifications. We'll talk about that in the coming slide. Please uh, move on to the next one. Yeah. So we'll talk about what is, uh, who is a Certified Ethical Hacker, course outline, what is covered in version 11, and what's its version 11 apart from the rest of the course. And if you want to attend, is it for you? And what are the common job available in Certified Ethical Hacking, all right? So all of them will be talking about, let me just get into the speakers, then Chandru will continue with the rest of them. So myself, uh, I'm Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim. I've been in this field for more than 20 years. Uh, I'm a certified ethical hacker. I'm also CCIE. I'm also BMA certified. I worked in multiple uh, vendors, including Cisco, Juniper, Fortinet. And also for the last several years, we have been coaching students into networking and security and cloud. And through IT expert training, we have completed almost five successful batches of certified ethical hacking course. So we have more than 50 students right now. Around 50 students have been trained. They are working in different companies. Some of them got placed, some of them got career upgrade. That's what we are going to uh, explain to you about the importance of this course in the coming slide. Yes, Tindu, please go ahead. Can you move on? Yeah. Yes. So now let us get into what is certified ethical hacking, how it's going to be helpful. So I'll request Chandru, please continue from your side, the coming slide. You know, introduce yourself, please, and then you know you can continue with the rest of the slide. Okay, Chandru? Sure, sir. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay, so uh, hi all. So uh, my name is Chan Chandrasekhar. Okay, my full name will be Chandrasekhar Ratnam, and uh, no, you can uh, call me Chandra Chandru. Okay, so uh, no, basically I'm a certified uh, ethical you know EC Council trainer. Along with that, I you know I have you know a couple of certifications like CIS and uh, CSM, and you know most of the industrial uh, you know uh, recognized certified actually. So in respect of security technology, like, you know, what Palo Alto or whatever, you heard about anything in security, I'm mostly I'm certified actually. So because my, I keep myself updated uh, with my certification actually. So that's the reason. And uh, welcome to this course. And uh, this one, you know, just a short introduction session about CH, okay. So certified ethical hacker. So uh, no, the current version is version 11 actually. Because uh, why version 11, first of all, okay? Because mostly I, when I start my career, or I, you know, start my thing, I uh, certified with the CH version 6, actually. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so more than, you know, like 5. So meaning uh, every time anything updated, for example, today, the blockchain or cloud security, whatever the advanced technology come into, you know, market, so how the EC Council updated their, you know, syllabus according to that. So that is the best, you know, uh, you know uh, most uh, thing, you know, about the uh, you know, ethical hacking actually. Okay. So first, uh, we'll start with the who is certified ethical hacker. So um, basically, you maybe heard about, you know, what is ethical hacking and what is, uh, you know, what is hacking and everything. Okay. So hacking, nothing but, uh, you know, uh, uh, we can say not hacking. Okay, so hacking is nothing but we can say, you know, unauthorized access to any system or application. That's a general outline. Okay, so if, uh, for example, in your laptop, if someone unauthorized, okay, not your friend, if someone remotely, uh, you know, uh, exploit or, you know, someone access your system without your permission, so we call this a HANA hacking, actually. Okay, so who is hacker? Okay, so hacker is a general term. Okay, don't, you uh, know, if, if someone call me, you are a hacker. It doesn't mean you are a uh, you know, malicious person or the bad guy. Actually, okay, the hacker is a general term which, for example, if someone call you hacker, it means you know very well about your computer systems coding and everything. Okay, how you going to use the skill? That is how uh, the world will represent. For example, if you use your hacking skill for good purpose, we call it as a certified 
so ethical hacker actually okay if you are going for you know uh, use your skill for some bad purpose they we called as you know some malicious guy and you know white hat you know black hat or some other uh, so many things are there actually okay so now we are going to cover on the certified ethical hacker so meaning okay we are going to cover in and out of all the applications and everything and you are, we are going to use your skills for uh, ethical you uh, know ethical purpose so that's the reason you know we called as a certified ethical hacker and this is a course provided by ec council okay so ec council is one of the major uh, you know top vendor in you know training they are also not not only training they also do the consulting they also do the implementation other part but they more focusing on training okay so ethical hacking mostly it will come into all the uh, for example if you are a college student or if you are an experienced guy okay hope you are aware of some of the, at least you in your laptop what ways you have what application day to day you are using like gmail facebook you no know, uh, it will help you this course will help you to understand in depth from the network okay how what if you type google.com what is happening in the background okay if you type gmail.com if you type your username and password what will happen you know this in depth knowledge you will get okay because to do any hacking or to do anything to protect anything you need to understand how it will work actually okay that is a base actually okay once you understand this is how we are going to work how you, this is how attacker can come into or attack your system then there you good to go actually so now you know how attacker can you know attack your system so now you know how to protect okay so this is the course you will learn both offensive and defensive actually okay so this is seh uh, you know uh, maybe i can in next slide we will see let's see okay so these are the modules you will cover as part of the ch version 11 okay right from the introduction so introduction uh, you know some some people they may ask okay okay i don't know anything i am a fresher okay so i don't know what is network i don't know it, it doesn't matter because normally we start the class from the basic actually okay first of all what is you know from the very basic okay what is ip address and everything just one day introduction class about you know basic then only we start about from the introduction to ethical hacking okay so we'll start from the you know introduction to ethical hacking then what is food printing what is recognition and uh, recognition you no know, it meaning you know how to gather more information about the target okay if you're going to attack someone you need to gather some information either the ip address the other address physical address you know where the data center and what are the application web application they have so these other cover is part of the food printing and recognition okay module 3 mostly we cover about the scanning network uh, we are going to scan the whole network in first year and finding what are the live applications and uh, then internal ip servers what are how many everything can be covered as part of the scanning network actually enumeration more into gather for example in your laptop okay you don't know how many ports you are opening who are all connecting to your laptop so these are the things by default if you install os there is a 2 3 by default uh, the ports will be open okay so these are the calls uh, you know we call as enumeration we try to find you know uh, what are the you know basic enumeration from you know external internal and external how we find how we can useful to either protect or hack actually so these things we will cover it as part of the enumeration so vulnerability analysis Uh, if you guys are experienced hope you are aware of you know how to do the vulnerability assessment because vulnerability assessment is a day to day part of all the company actually you rest of what company you are use, using actually either education institute or the uh, you know big banks or you uh, know their uh, isp providers uh, you know all mostly all people do not do the vulnerability assessment meaning uh, finding your um, uh, we can say weakness in your laptops or network actually okay that is a basic uh, nutshell but you know mostly hope you know even you are fresher you you come to our you know uh, every month microsoft release the patches actually because every month every tuesday we call as a tuesday microsoft patch tuesday we call as actually so every month second tuesday microsoft release that patch meaning okay every month someone finding the vulnerability in their os or their application sharepoint or you know lot actually so every month they will patching actually okay meaning you know uh, there is a that much vulnerability exist in microsoft itself you compare to other you know whatever you are using you now linux or you know cisco routers or whatever you know every month you know there should be a patch there should be a fix actually so this is a routine process we need we cover as a part of the module 5 and system hacking 
this is my favorite uh, module actually because in this module we going to cover how to crack your system for example if someone you uh, know the password you know you forgot the password or if you want to hack your friend systems and something i uh, know we use you know couple of tools to break the passwords you know password reset and and uh, know how to exploit so, so so many things you know uh, some you know uh, pretty hands on will be covered as part of the system hacking uh, module 7 that is also one of my another favorite malware threat okay first of all so many people nowadays you receive you know lot of spam emails malware phishing ransomware some of people are aware of what is ransomware and everything so this topic is more into practical okay we going to cover you know how to you know how to create a virus you know how to inject virus in someone system and how to do the backdooring and other stuff it's you know pretty much you know uh, practical okay so because you need to understand how the malware work what what malware can do in your system okay if someone system is malware or ransomware attack what attacker can do what attacker normally do actually so these are the things you need to understand that's the reason we they put it as a malware threat as a module actually okay sniffing 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 is you know one of the uh, another topic okay i hope you guys are aware you know if someone uh, you know maybe uh, you know if you talk to someone someone can able to intercept your call or intercept your network and see what you are talking and everything okay so same thing is happening in the uh, laptop also if you are accessing some banking application you type your username and password okay if the connection is not secure how attacker can sniff their uh, trans, you know your uh, you know username password and he can able to see if the transmission is not encrypted they can able to see your username and password okay so these are the things we will cover it in module 8 okay social engineering uh, okay so this is uh, pretty much uh, uh, interesting one of the another interesting for example if you work in a coffee shop okay so if you work in a tcs or whatever company you work in, okay so some guy come to you when you come for a tea shop or something okay they normally talk to you about you know how how is your company going and what technology you are guys working you know if for example if you working in it or system they will ask more information okay what system you are using or what microsoft which version you are using where is your data center so they will gather all the information to simulate their attack so this is why this is not going to you know they are not going to attack in laptop or network okay they try to social engineering with you know just a physical talk or the call they call us you know i'm calling from uh, the recruitment company i just want to understand you know where you are working and everything uh, so like that also they will gather more information so these are the things how we can understand and how we can prevent okay everything will cover as part of the social engineering okay So module ten, denial of service attack. Most of the companies nowadays is facing. You know, you heard about lot of news. You know, uh, this uh, Facebook is you know DDoS attack happening in by major banks, major agencies, and everything. So this will cover. You know, because sometimes if DDoS will happen, the site will not be. You know, for example, if someone do the DDoS attack on your Flipkart or Amazon, okay, the site will down for minimum ten minutes to maximum four hours like that actually. okay so these are the things happening in real world how we going to detect and what are the way we can able to prevent so these are the things we are going to cover in module as part of module 10 session hijacking um how we can say okay session hijacking is nothing but if you already connecting to one of the server or you are already connecting to your facebook account okay so someone taking your session because they don't want your username and password okay there is a because normally when you type your you know username and password to any facebook or gmail okay so how the authentication will work if you type your username and password go to the username and password will go to your gmail or facebook the gmail or facebook send the session token they call it called of session token because you know every time you are communicating they need to authenticate you okay you are a chandru okay so by using there is a session token only if the attacker hack the or hijack the session so they can they can terminate you and they can use your session to you know chat with your friends or you know do you whatever activity so these are the things we will cover it as possible part of the session hijack module 10 bit advanced you know mostly cover it for bit advanced like you know ids i like, you know if you are a network guy a system admin guy this will be very useful even for you know uh, if you are a fresher also it can help 
in terms of you know how to enable the firewall in your laptop you know what is ideas what is honey pot you know bit advanced topic help you to crack the interviews and other stuff actually okay module 4 hacking web server uh, okay so nowadays you know all our application whatever application you are accessing facebook gmail twitter whatever okay all the application hosted in their web server so attacker normally try to hack or attack their web server because web server is a front end actually okay so how to attack their web servers so these are things we will cover it as part of the module 13 okay module 14 uh, 14 is you uh, know another one of my another famous sorry favorite actually hacking web application mostly pretty much we cover uh, uh, you know uh, no hacking you uh, know um, doing sql injection or cross site scripting or so many things we can do as part of the application attack because uh, you know um, Uh, for me, out of all twenty modules, this is my one of you know, favorite actually because you will see lot of uh, you know, real application which is vulnerable to cross scripting or you know SQL injection or directory traversal. A lot of things you will find it you know as part of the web application hacking. Okay, then fifteen separate module for SQL injection because SQL injection is most you know we can say uh, critical vulnerability in applications. You know. because if you if your application you know you heard about you know if you are a fresher you heard about you know someone hacked your college database and do some modification error so these are the things happening because of the sql injection okay so it doesn't mean it affect for all the application if your application or if the target application is vulnerable to sql injection yes we can do bypass your authentication or we can do modify your database so many things we can do as part of sql injection vulnerability section Okay, so module sixteen to sixteen, hacking wireless network. You know, if the companies nowadays, uh, you know, most of the people in your home also, all we are using wireless only. Okay, so how you protect your wireless or how you hack your company wireless, you know, wireless networks and everything? Because some people, you know, still they are using the default username and password to access their Wi-Fi platform and everything. So these are the things how we can hack. You know, these are the concepts we will cover it as part of the module sixteen. Okay, so module seventeen, hacking mobile platforms. Like you know, if you have iOS, Android, and like you know, you heard about this, uh, you know, jailbreaking in iOS, you know, Apple, and Android root access and everything. So these are the things how we can do and how we can protect them. Okay, everything we will cover as part of that module seventeen. Module eighteen and a bit uh, advanced. You know, if you heard about IoT and OT hacking, you know, some customers or companies they have their IoT environment. They have a OT environment separately. Like you know, if you heard about SCADA, you know, most of their isolated they they call it as isolated environment actually. Okay, it's nothing to do with you know connecting to internet. You know, some secure network. So how you protect, how you hack, you know, so many things we will cover it as part of the module eighteen. Uh, module nineteen, more advanced. You know, cloud computing. Here we will see. You know, we would have heard about you know Kubernetes, Docker, containers, you know, cloud security. So everything. Covered as part of the modules nineteen. Okay, module twenty again one of the critical <clears throat> because cryptography. Cryptography is more important because all your username, password, whatever you are doing in internet, everything should be encrypted, right? Okay, your document, your whatever you are doing, it should be encrypted because attacker. If it is a clear text, attacker can able to see your data and everything. So, how how the encryption work? What are the encryption we can enable? You know, to secure our more data in rest, data in transit. So everything will cover in the module twenty actually. Okay, so mostly uh, in version eleven, these are the few more uh, modules, not modules actually, part of you uh, know the uh, maybe uh, I'm not sure you guys are heard about Kali Linux. Okay, so Kali Linux, you know, uh, and Parrot OS, Parrot. You know, after Kali Linux, another you know. You no know, good or important, uh, you know, security tool we call as a uh, you know Parrot OS. It also it is similar to Kali Linux. Uh, people who don't know what is Kali Linux, Kali Linux is nothing but the same Linux platform, okay, which involved all the security tools, or in your term, you know, all the hacking tools involved come with the you know the OS actually, okay. So there uh, you will get all that. Uh, Tools inbuilt, so you don't need to download any tool. You don't need to find anything. All the tools are inbuilt, so you just need to play around how to use that actually. 
to both offensive and defensive box okay and uh, you know this is a bit advanced okay again okay because uh, if you are working in it this will be helpful because uh, you now mostly the companies will follow, you know follow nisc standard and nisc framework we call as actually okay national institute of security technology you know, some standards actually which is followed in us actually we follow the same how to you know map our cs model with nisc form framework to secure your you know day to day roles in current company or in you know in upcoming company such so another so which i talked about the module 18 and 19 20 so mostly we cover cloud security these are the new added in version 11 actually okay so because in version town the version turn there is uh, no cloud security or iot actually in version 11 they added the cloud security iot and ot modules mostly which cover mostly the you know all the new tech tech you know which is used like docker kubernetes and everything and also we cover you know cloud based uh, security you know mostly nowadays uh, you know you heard about lot of clouds vendor available like microsoft uh, aws amazon aws microsoft azure or you know google cloud and uh, there is a many also alibaba is there and ibm cloud is there and uh, hui cloud lot of cloud vendor the major three vendor is you know amazon aws and so how, what are the threats in cloud okay how we can protect just for the advance you know um, just to understand what are the threats available in cloud because uh, even if you join any new company or if you company you already working in any company they definitely nowadays most of the company they are migrating to cloud actually they don't want on prem they want to migrate to cloud okay so if you migrate all your data to cloud okay what are the threats okay we need to identify so be aware of so this is these are the things we are going to cover as part of the version 11 actually iot threats ot threats you know these are the things also we cover in depth in as per the the module actually and malware you know mostly nowadays we hope you over this uh, ransomware banking malware iot malware and everything so we cover it more into practical you know how to do the malware and how to create a virus and everything okay ransomware you know we cover bit actually because uh, ransomware you uh, know some ransomware we have a solution and some ransomware we don't have a solutions you no know? so we will cover in you know how we can prevent uh, you know uh, ransomware from our even from our if we start from our laptop okay how we can prevent the ransomware from our laptop you know? then uh, we can implement the same in our company or future companies okay and the file less malware you know nowadays you know there is no attachment in your file or in your email to don't download them everything mostly nowadays malware are fileless meaning there is a link partial script or javascript to you know once you just click it will automatically in back end it will download inject and you know so many things happening so these are all we call as a fileless malware okay we are going to cover as part of the version 11 actually and the lab this is our important so lab mostly uh, you know we don't need a separate uh, you know um, Uh, i need a uh, no uh, high end laptop you know 16 gb 32 gb lab and everything no we don't need nothing you know just a gb lab and a gb uh, you know ram with you know whatever processor you have is more sufficient to do the lab okay but even though you it's a two option actually okay we have a lab you can also build your own lab in your laptop okay in your system or wherever okay and uh, if you don't know you know i don't want uh, you know this lab i want you uh, know official lab means then uh, you know there is a lab available from ec council we called as i lab actually okay that also it's a bit advanced because they are providing like you don't need to do anything you just need a internet connection that's it okay yeah, so they will clearly you know access you can access their i lab and you can do all the modules with their system okay they provide each and everything like uh, right from the os right from the tools what is the step by step they will guide you so you can just use their i lab to practice well okay uh, it's up to you we don't recommend it i lab uh, mostly because you know i lab is uh, in the ch is basic it's more i uh, know um, first you can try with your lab if you need more practical i want more practical and everything then we can we suggest to go with the i lab because i lab is separate the cost involved in that actually because we don't uh, we need to purchase directly from uh, ec council they provided with your username and password actually so that is the reason 
Okay, so what's it? Uh, CH version apart from the rest. Okay, so uh, the key one, which is uh, I'm not sure this is here or not, but uh, the key differentiate, you know, version eleven or CH from apart from the rest, because you heard about lot of training, other training like you know ethical hacking training, you know, uh, offensive training, you know, so many trainings available, security plus. Uh, from kamsha and so many things are there actually because why you choose to ch okay ch is a only uh, no i can say ch is a only training vendor or the training is a vendor neutral i can say okay here we don't suggest you need to go with the palo alto you need to go with the splunk or you need to you need to go with the you know this vendor okay um uh, like that you know um, um Uh, you know we don't cover most of them because some some you know if you if you maybe if you already uh, you know search some training and everything some people they say you know you need to learn splunk or you need to learn qradar you know to come into security okay so uh, it, it doesn't matter actually because you need to understand how the recent threat how, how the cyber security in recent technology so that will be helpful to Uh, to get into the cyber security actually okay because uh, i seen lot of my experience because some people for example you know, as a fresher you join, you go and learn splunk splunk is one of the sim vendor actually okay or curator whatever okay they are the sim actually okay you go learn okay even you got the job okay i got the, uh, you learn splunk and you crack the splunk interview and you join the job actually okay yeah, no but every day what you are receiving you need to receive all the security log to understand the security log you need all the security threats and understanding of all the parameters of security meaning okay you need to understand network security you need to understand system security you need to understand application security okay these things we cover it is as part of the ch okay ch is a very basic to understand you know all type of attacks okay cloud data cloud security you know application system hacking ransomware so uh you, you will cover you understand okay this is what you no know, cyber security or cyber you no know, cyber threat okay then after that it will you know you can jump into the cyber security uh, you know role okay respective of what role you are joining because many roles available security analyst security operations security risk and uh, you know uh, you know many thing okay based on that you can choose your career that okay because cs is a entry point to get into the cyber security skills okay okay apart from that you know we can we see you know all the emergency threat ops top 10 vulnerabilities apt you know we cover normally the emergency for example recent vulnerability we can say log 4g vulnerability and everything but uh, it won't cover as part of ch but still we discuss the you know even you know whenever we have a batch we discuss about the emergency threat you know how the simulation and how what are the protection mechanism we normally discuss as part of our training actually okay so cyber and simulation because more because here there is no simulation nothing actually all the attacks you are going to do live actually okay sometimes either we go with the lab or either we go with the normally for example if, if my batch is 10 student okay out of 10 student when i i choose any any students you know uh, as sir you know we can use this application you know their company url or their company ip we can do the simulation so it can help both actually live time real time experience okay if someone attack their system how they can going to protect okay is there any vulnerability in their application so both will be coming live and real time labs actually we can say okay so hands on more into hands on because uh, again uh, one point i missed actually mostly this uh, ethical hacking mostly my uh, whatever ethical hacking batch you know i can say 70 to 80 percentage practical and remaining 20 percentage only theoretical actually okay mostly all the all your session mostly into practical only okay few topics only there is a theoretical okay so that is a one another advantage of this session okay so then current uh, case studies and current event definitely we will cover okay because uh, what are the recent uh, case studies and the attacks you know if you recently any sony or what are facebook or hacked we normally discuss as part of our ch you uh, know training and the tools training you uh, know the books training and you uh, know uh, we can say the tools and everything will be free okay you will get uh, material with all the tools uh, all the, you know mostly all the access and everything actually
Okay, so who is CH for? Okay, CH uh, we can say you know you know uh, for me it's like a uh, mostly for because in my batch uh, mostly all you know I see all kind of people you know some people even they start for this uh, people who are from second year they join this course or who are uh, you know recently completed their college they join their course for their career. And uh, some of the uh, IT and system administrator who already worked in you uh, know uh, company for more than ten years or five years, okay, they join CH because they want to do the career path. You know, I don't want to do the networking and IT anymore. I want to change my career. I want to come into cyber security. So they also join CH actually. Okay, so it it, it uh, doesn't mean for everyone. It's a basic. You know, CH is a very basic entry level course to who are want to come into cyber security or who are want to change their career into cyber security ch is a first choice option okay so yeah uh, once once you know some people they ask the same question okay you know once i study or completed my ch okay what are the rules i can apply okay what are the rules i can apply or what are the you know, the job roles I can search in the internet to find or apply. Actually, so these many job roles are available once you finish your CH training. Okay, responsibility of you know assurance, security auditor, IT security administrator, cyber defense, penetrate junior penetration study, ethical hacker, network security engineer, SOC analyst. You know, you can choose anyone and you can pick up anyone and you can you know get into the job. Actually, okay, it doesn't mean you know we want to finish the CH. You know. You need to go as a security analyst. No, okay. It's based on your understanding and uh, job opening level. You know everything actually. Okay, but you can apply all these roles. Okay, so here the same. You know what are the roles you can as a cyber? It's a kind of not more into entry. It's a kind of mid level. Okay, it's uh, again it's about your luck and your hard work actually, because you can apply either entry level or the mid level as well. Because since uh, CS cover uh, more uh, basic and advanced, uh, you know mid level you can able to you know apply for mid level. You know uh, based on your experience and based on your unless you know. We can say how you crack the interviews and other stuff. Actually, okay. And um, exams, it's a very pretty simple. Uh, basically, this course will uh, more into forty hours actually. Okay, meaning you know mostly weekends, you know four four hours, uh, five uh, five weeks. Or else, you know some people they ask you know. Eight hours uh, per day and uh, five days we will complete the course. Actually, okay, it's basically it's a forty hours course. Okay, once you finish the training, you will be getting the uh, no uh, training uh, completion certificate and everything from EC Council. And second, you need to apply for the uh, exam. Okay, exam is pretty simple. Okay, do you don't need to worry about exams and everything because exam is you know kind of multiple choice only. Okay, we will guide you as part of our training itself. Okay, it's a four-hour exam, but mostly we will you will cover it in two or three hours maximum. But it's a multiple choice question. You don't need to go anywhere. You can write from your laptop itself. We will guide you as a part of IIT expert training. We will be on the you know. We will be standby to support you. You know, in case if the you know, uh, if you're you know, if you're suddenly your internet goes down and the inter power back, you know, everything we will take care. We will be standby and uh, you know, exam is pretty easy. Okay. The one thing which I forgot to cover is EC Council. ECH has the two modules. Okay, I don't know if they cover. Ah, okay, we have it actually. Okay, so this is how uh, C and D, C and D. Mostly people uh, in India, we don't have a C and D and everything. We start with the CH actually. Okay, so CH we have two levels. One is foundation. Okay, uh, meaning one is the foundation means you know who are joining CH. Um, you know, it's a, a basic foundation. Okay, once you finish the CS foundation, uh, some people need more. Uh, you know, like I don't, I like you know penetration testing. I want to more practical and everything. The CS master, they call us a CS master. That is purely a hundred percentage practical. Okay, they give the live demo or live system to uh, exploit the vulnerabilities and hacking and all, everything will be 
100 percentage we called as a practical only okay so no but to go there you need to follow no first finish the ch first okay ch is a basic once you finish ch you can apply for ch master ch ss pent lpt some people they more about uh, know about the you know uh, penetration testing and everything okay so you know even from the long day they have the lpt okay license penetration testing from ec council it is a more valuable certification okay same like oscp and uh, this is also one of the more valuable you can try but to do that you need first ch to understand everything then you can crack one by one actually okay okay so apart from that ch you know maybe you know i maybe i i write myself with some of your uh, you know because i you know i taken a lot of trainings and i taken a lot of seminars and everything because most of the people they ask you know a few questions like you know how ch can help you know i, like I am a fresher i am a second year student or i am a fresher actually how it can help or i am a you know it administrator or i am from a software development team okay i want to change my career okay how ch can help yes uh, no it can help in all the aspect respect of what uh, where you are and who you are like you know you are a second year students or you are a fresher or you are a code developer or you are a 15 years uh, no i am into it network engineer and everything the cs is a best course or best one to understand all the cyber threats cyber technologies security technologies like Uh, right from the basic la from your system okay how infrastructure how the you know you, you just imagine okay if your company your company what are the things your company have you have their user laptops or user systems okay one okay here we are going to cover how to protect their user system workstation prana then you have the servers okay in ch we also cover the server security like you know how to cover how to secure your server from external attackers or internal insiders threat and everything okay and network okay network security also we will cover as part of the uh, ch okay what else you have you know penetration testing vulnerability assessment this is also we are going to cover then cloud security we are going to cover so we are going to pretty much we are cover all the aspects of security okay so after this course once you completed the training attended and you you have a good knowledge and everything you can easily you know get job uh it can depend upon your experience okay if it is, if you are a fresher yes definitely we you know even as a it expert we have a separate company called cyber kill and you uh, know we have other companies you know our system concern we have a day to day opening for sock analysts or juniors you know penetration testers now we have multiple opening so we will guide you with that opening as well apart from that we also help you to you know whenever any interviews or if you have you know there is a jd going on you know you want to you you missed some topic you know might re attack or some terms you don't understand also we will help you to guide you you know to you know have their uh, you know doubt session or whenever you know after you finish the class also you can ping us any time to you know have the session actually okay if you don't understand or if you want to brush up something we will help you actually apart from that and the job perspective yes you know we have a lot of openings nowadays you know even if you if you saw our uh, training website also we normally posted most of the you know l1 l2 levels uh, position opening so we can guide you actually because um uh, we can assist you more actually okay we can say okay we have a lot of references because most of the company nowadays contacting directly us if you have any students please refer us you know so we are you know giving our students profile based on their requirement and the package and so many things right so that is the job is uh, i can say you no know, job is you know um which uh, you know after finishing cs you definitely get a job actually because i i started my career more into you know, you know basic uh, ethical acting and everything and uh, about this uh, you know um, definitely ch if you you can you know this is a uh, another thing okay you don't know okay in after finishing ch you don't know how to search for the job okay some people they ask that same question okay you don't need to you know do okay security analyst opening a security engineer opening no need actually you just a ch opening in you know wherever you are okay either you are in you know kuwait or you are in india okay wherever just ch opening in chennai is ch opening in you know 
Pune, Bombay, wherever you are, you just search. You will find plenty of openings. Okay, their requirement in the JD, they definitely they put. Okay, we need a no, CH certified guys actually. That is the basic actually. Okay, so CH. Okay, uh, why? How? Uh, the another good, good one. Okay, what is the difference between? Okay, I know ethical hacking, okay, but I am not certified CH. Okay, okay. The other guy who came to you, you know, the same guy with uh, certified, the same guy without certificate. Okay, company will prefer. Who are certified with CEH, they can get the preference actually. Why? Okay, the question is why actually. Okay, because whenever a TCS or any company, okay, where is on a city bank, okay, they they uh, they hire you for two options only, either for internal security or for their external project. Like they they have they got the project in US, UK, and everything. So they got the project actually, right? So in that scenario, uh, whenever uh, any project come into for them, okay? They say, okay, I have a uh, ten CA certified guys. Okay, this is how they pitch actually. So for that pitch, they definitely need CA certified people actually. That is another good one. Once you certified, once you are certified actually. So this is our the advantage to crack the interview and crack get the job actually. Okay, so you know. Apart from that, you know, uh, hope you guys are aware. Mostly, CH is recognized in the US actually. So it also recognized by all the security standards. You know, Indian government or you know, wherever you go, you are in Malaysia, you are in India, you are in US. You no, know, CH is recognition for all the most of the uh, you know industrial vendors actually. Okay, so that's it from my end actually. Okay, if you have any query or anything, you know, apart from you know the cast uh, course syllabus everything because and the um, okay, I just read some of the questions actually. Okay, the cast you know the, you can reach the team actually because cast I don't uh, no, I don't have any visibility here. Okay, you are, you can reach Takir or uh, no Ibrahim sir for the you know casting and everything. About uh, practical exam, what about practical exam? Practical exam, yes. Practical exam means, you know, you need to go CH master. To do the CH master, first you need to complete the CH foundation actually, okay? So uh, that we will help you. Once you finish the CH uh, foundation, we will help you with the CH master actually. Yeah, now the, okay. now the participant can unmute themselves and ask if there is any question. I have enabled it. And about the PDA copy, I'm not sure. There may be Tahir or someone can help. Actually, what is PDA copies? Uh, we will provide it or not. But we will provide the PDF with the, you know, all the tools, uh, you know, everything. And by default, you know, once you get their Aspen portal, you know, which EC Council, once you register, you will get their EC Council portal actually. From the portal itself, you will get download all the official material from there actually. Okay, and the certificate is valid for three years, I believe. Okay, every time you need to renew after three years, you know, because you know, version 12, version 13, like that, it will you know, keep on going. So you need to renew actually. Okay, so any other questions, please let me know so I can help you to answer. Okay, can you describe about the red team, blue team, both uh, are the same or different? Definitely, it's just different actually. Okay, red team and uh, blue team, you know, mostly we call as, you know, what I say, you know, uh, I, I, I told it in a different term, you know, offensive and defensive. Okay, offensive we call as a red team and defensive we call as a blue team actually. So, meaning red team is like a penetration testing. They try to explore, they try to find the loophole in systems, okay. Blue team is a team who do the security engineering, meaning firewall, IDS, IPS, who always help to protect their company from their, Red team activities. So some companies they have both red team and blue team. Some companies, you know, they have the blue team. Red team they will outsource to some third party. Okay, so meaning they try to attack. So blue team can, you know, able to detect and prevent the attack. So this is, uh, you know, we can say normally we do this activity on all the companies. Actually, basically it's a different, but you know, uh, some companies. It both help to you know, uh, protect your crown jewels. We call this a you know, protect your company. Actually. Can I also unmute and speak uh, if you want?
this mission for example yeah yes brother yeah yeah correct only brother continue yeah yeah got it we will cover both offensive and defensive in this year chapter okay so don't worry Uh, yeah, from it doesn't matter for me actually because you are a become or a BA student also it doesn't matter. It's about your uh, you know passion in ethical hacking only. Okay, so mm -hmm. no, if you want to change your career in cybersecurity, it can help actually. Okay, because I in my in my experience I you know, I see a lot of people actually. Okay, even B and uh, you know BA students and all the irrespective of what you know mechanical and whatever. Okay, they want to see, they, they have passion to study, you know, learn cybersecurity. So they can learn CES and they can get into the cybersecurity field because, you uh, know, um, you are a BA, BCom, it doesn't matter to the corporate actually. Okay, so if you know about cybersecurity, if you have a good skills and if you crack the interview, yes, you are good to go. That's it. They can hire you. Okay, so any other questions? Okay, course, timing, and uh, no other, other details, you know, you can reach Tahira someone. Okay, if you have any, even if you don't have a question now, okay, it doesn't matter anything. Maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow, you have, you feel something, you know, I, yeah, okay, I forgot to ask the questions, okay. I need more clarification. You can reach us anytime. You know, you can reach uh, me anytime for technical questions. Okay, say so, same like you know this co how much the cost and everything. You can reach Tahir. Tahir are the you know IT. Yeah, IT I will share the number. You can message me in the WhatsApp. Uh, okay, so I assure you only one thing. Okay, mostly the you know the Training will be, you know, practical and it will be good actually, good session. Okay. So. Actually, we are planning to start from next week. Uh, coming Friday, we are starting. So please make sure you register uh, before that. Okay, so any other questions if you have, just let me know. I want to know what job opportunity, internship opportunity we can receive from this workshop. No, no, I don't understand. Uh, Tahir, you understand this question actually? Yeah, he is. I think he is asking about the job opportunities. So there is actually a lot of openings in our company itself, and there is a lot of opening outside also. But it all depends on your uh, experience and everything. So we will share all the job opportunities available during the course of the session. Uh, if your profile matches, uh, you can get into the job. So we keep on uh, posting job opportunities that are available. Most of our previous uh, batch students have placed actually. So most of them shifted from shifted their jobs uh, into cybersecurity. So this is actually the sixth batch we are going to start. So we have already completed five batches. Uh, more than 50 students have joined and uh, learned. If there is no questions, uh, then we can wind up. Uh, you can ping me in WhatsApp uh, if you have any other doubts. Uh, yes. Okay. So thank, before thank wind up, for okay. a good session. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. 
and guys uh, now if you have any questions anything you can feel free to reach uh, tahir so he can arrange a one to one session if you need okay that's it for mind